Hello everyone, sorry about last week and doing a film about an eyeshadow that you can't buy. I guess the only thing that I can say about this is that you can see that I'm not trying to make money out of you guys at all because obviously I would have checked to see there was lots available and you could have bought them and I could have made a few pennies too. So I'm just showing you that my films are very spontaneous, very organic, what I'm using, what I'm feeling excited by, I share with you. So next week I'm going to do a comparison, very similar to this, but from the chemist or drugstore, so it'll be a lot cheaper, just to say sorry for being blooming annoying. Anyway, this week I'm gonna be showing you what is in my makeup bag. Um, this is a very cute, um, lovely neon bag from Drunk Elephant, which I was gifted, which I absolutely love. Love bright things. Um, and this is the sort of quick, or the when I say quick, it's rather overloaded with products. My quick early morning, without thinking, go to work makeup. And actually, when I go to work, I keep my makeup really, really simple. Just lovely skin, always trying to get lovely skin, brows, lashes, and just kind of a nice hydrated lip. Um, it's just how I like to look when I go to work. I'm much more experimental when I'm out and about. So let's get on with it. Okay, so it's probably about sort of 15 minutes after I've put my moisturiser on, I sit down to do my makeup, always let my um, skincare settle in, and then I always feel my skin. Now, it might feel hydrated and smooth and velvety, but if it hasn't got that lovely sort of slip that I like on my skin, I love a little bit of oil on my skin first. Um, I have been using the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil, and I really like it. I do miss a fragrance because I love... Willowberry, I love Declior, I love lots and lots of oils with um, essential oils in. Um, this has no fragrance, the molecules are really small in this oil, so um, it doesn't cause a blockage on your skin. Now, as you can see, I've just warmed it up, and I'll just sit here in the dark at the moment in the morning, sort of like 10 to 7 in the morning, it's um, pitch black in the UK, and I will just press this into my skin. I haven't overloaded it, I've warmed it, in my hands, I'm just pressing it into the skin. Now, if you have oily skin, this is the last thing that you want to do, but I don't, I have dry skin, and I'm just showing you what makes it easier for me to put my base on. There's nothing worse than having dry skin and then going trying to put a foundation on because it just gathers and collects in certain areas of your skin and you just don't get a smooth, clean application. Right, so now I'm gonna put the base on and I'll just do this really quickly. For my base, I have used this foundation personally for me for, well, um, I think nearly a year now. Um, I'm medium dark in the summer and I'm medium now. And it's, uh, it's a medium coverage, medium, lots of mediums going on there. Um, <laughs> um, but for me, to even out my skin, it does the best job and I just use, I put it on my T-zone area here where I need most coverage, it sits beautifully under my eyes and gets rid of my red chin. So I wrap that sunshine, it keeps coming in, but I'm not going to eliminate that. And then I just push it into the oil and it literally, because my skin is so hydrated, just as I would do if I was working on an actress or a model, it just slides on. Now, if you've used too much, obviously you can just use a tissue or, um, a blotting paper to absorb but it just allows the process of putting my makeup on really quickly. So I always have to make sure that I remove any extra foundation that's sat on my top lip because it actually enhances the fine lines. Oh I forgot to tell you I'm using this new product by a company called Filarina. Um, it's all about um, large and small molecules of hyaluronic. This is their newest product and it's called Lip and Mouth. I've only been using it for five days so practically there's no difference and I've been putting this on before my foundation so after the oil if I need it and I'm patting it on and it's keeping my lips really hydrated and I'm hoping that I might just get a little bit more volume around my lips but it's only been day five but I'm quite excited about this then I take my concealer um, currently I'm loving Charlotte Tilbury's um, Magic Away although the packaging is slightly annoying because it makes it look um, really dirty quite quickly which is a shame because I like the window of colour. Um, this is shade two and I'm just, as you can see, just applied it either side of my nose where I need that coverage just to add a little bit of a light panel under my face. And this is all like super quick. The colours all work together. And again, having that lovely hydrated base makes it really easy. Now, under my eyes, 
I'm using Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Concealer just in this area here and again if you notice I haven't actually used any brushes I just love the warmth of my fingers because this is nice and speedy take it right up to the lash line lovely lovely patting motions it's actually quite nice you know just to kind of pat and push products into your eyes and into your face it's sort of quite stimulating and that is really flexible that um, serum product by Bobbi Brown because again you don't want anything too drying I can do a proper under eye winter concealer film if you're interested in that there we go and tap it all in now next for me is highlighter and I've got these beautiful highlighters from Nip and Fab they're so, so lovely. Oh, I'm really getting them in the sunshine, aren't I? That's better, a little bit down there. Um, warm skin tones, pale, cool skin tones, and somewhere in the middle of the slightly pink hue, but nothing that's too pinky. Um, and again, I just love to use that over my cheek, tops of my cheekbones, bridge of nose, and if my skin's a little bit dry, my forehead, I just massage that in, but I just love a kick of light. That kind of gives me my freshness. That's probably the most sort of I know, modern part of my makeup, I guess, just having that freshness around there. If it's not a highlighter, then it's oil. And by the way, if um, my skin is feeling really, maybe I've had a few glasses of wine or, you know, um, had a few tears the night before, I always add a little bit of hyaluronic just underneath over my makeup. Again, I can make a separate video about that because I'm going, as I always do, off on another track because there's always so much information to share with you. Um, right, now I've lost my blusher, one moment. Right, so back with my favourite blush, which is the Soft Copper Miracle Blush um, from Max Factor, which is just such a lovely, warm, caramel, tan shade that just looks great, summer, winter, spring. Oh, I'm really sorry about the sun. I normally have a little blind that I pull down, but guess what? I pulled it too hard and it's broken. So anyway, right, so cream products done. Um, I'll then use either a Charlotte Tilbury for a very light sort of mattification just in the area, but I'm a little bit red on my chin at the moment. So if I've got any imperfections I love, and I've used this for years and years, um, is the uh, Studio Fix powder by MAC and I'm a C3. So a little light dusting just in this area here where I can't stand that sort of extra redness. But anywhere sort of around the front of my face, I'll go in with um, a flawless filter, just because it's a little bit lighter. So I'm done with my skin. I just had to block that sunlight because that was really off-putting. I'm gonna be using O2 Brow Shaper by Max Factor. Um, it's a great color. It's nice and thin, never needs to be sharpened because it's a propelling pencil. And I have to pull my brows down because they sit really high, it's so annoying, in my forehead. Let's finish off this side, just filling in all the gaps and brushing through so that the coal spreads evenly in between the brow hairs. And my favorite brow set um, is by Benefit, 24 hour brow set, just to keep the brows lifted, makes a big difference to our faces and eyes. And I just find this one sets well, doesn't go flaky, isn't white. Lovely. Okay, so next in with Kiko, Kiko 06. Um, this is a lovely long lasting um, eyeshadow, almost identical to by Terry. I do a quick smudge there with my eyes closed, creating that sort of messy shape. And then I take a concealer brush because they're much more dense and just push and wash it into all the nooks and crannies. It's got a slight metallic um, texture to this. A lot of these products you might have seen me use before, um, and I think that's really important for you to know that I'm genuine. Um, there's no point me saying one day I'm using this product, the next day I'm using this product, especially with skincare as well, and makeup, because otherwise I'm just jumping from product to product. And, you know, you don't go through as many products as that. No one could afford to do that. So you might have seen these products before. Um, this is a great budget cream eyeshadow. Kiko do really great products at really great prices. In fact, I've just bought a lovely palette of theirs. I'll do some nice 
sort of Christmas party looks later. Some nice rich tones. Anyway, so that's all I do. I only apply it to the top with a nice wash like that. It sets and it won't crease. And if it does crease, I don't mind because it just looks soft. I don't bring it down, I keep it up because I want to keep my, lift, my eyes lifted. Obviously, because my eyes are quite crinkly at the top, um, I just need to make sure that I keep it nice and smooth and I want to keep it lifted. Um, you all know I love this mascara by Hourglass. And seriously, you know, there are some mascaras that I love, but I have to spend quite a lot of time getting this effect. But when I'm rushing, I know that I can put this mascara on and I get a really good effect. And also, because obviously I'm a makeup artist, you arrive at work and you know, sometimes you haven't checked your face for an hour and a half and then you think, oh my gosh, hello, here to do your makeup. I think, what does my makeup look like? Has it slipped? Has it creased? Is it crumbling? This mascara doesn't crumble. Well, it hasn't so far for me. This is this is two and a month, two and a half months old actually, and I think most mascaras, you know, have a sort of sell bite day of at least three months. I think because they just oxygenate after a while. It's hard to keep the moisture in the product when you keep opening and closing it, and that's basically what makes it dry out in the end. So two two coats on top, one underneath again just trying to keep everything lifted and then I feel much better about myself and to finish off one of my fave lips well I've got two. Oh come on allow me to have two I keep looking away from the camera I'm so sorry because I've just got chaos here if you'd see this you'd be hmm she needs to be organized I live in organized chaos where is my Dr Pericone lipstick found it now Dr Pericone lipstick no lipstick lipstick um, Unfortunately, it's so hydrating, it ends up looking like this, which is such a shame because it's not very nice when you put it on. But this is my sort of natural, pinky, comfortable feel to my lips, hydrated feel. And then I love the Clarins, it's, yes, it's 06 Instant Light. So you can see I've got one sort of more nudie, one more pinky, and I might just change those because of how I feel, um, maybe what I'm wearing. Um, what one shall I go for? I might just do a little bit of pink actually, so I'll put the Clarins one down. Both of these I just put on without a liner. I don't really want too much of a polished lip, obviously. I just chuck it on without a lip balm. And that's a lip pencil. Mm. And these formulas on both products are so nice. Hydrating and complimentary. This is not too pink that it brings out any redness in my skin, but it gives me uh, a little bit of a lift. And with both of these, if I'm feeling a little bit, mm, no, I need a bit more colour. Just a little bit more, just of a lift, kind of add a little bit more freshness to my skin. I'll just add that to the top of my cheekbone. And I haven't powdered there, so it's easy to add that lift. So not perfect, not overdone, easy products to apply. I just use one brush. Two, I lie, for the powder as well. I use a brush to soften the eyeshadow and then one for the powder. I wish I'd never called this channel Speed Beauty because whenever I'm talking to you, I feel like I've got to do it really quickly like this and get all the information to you without breathing. I need to calm down. Um, so I could probably do that in a little bit more detail. I'm not sure how rushed it was. I'll have to look back at the edit and see how it conveys. But I just wanted to show you that it's really quick and easy to make yourself and your skin look a lot fresher and better in the morning just using simple staple products. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to speaking to you below. See you soon.